Hello, good morning, guys. Good morning, everyone. How is your day going? Hope your day is going on well today. So, I want you all to watch this video to see what Dr. Ebe Damina said. Dr. Ebe said that God does not give babies. Yes, he said that God does not give babies. But the Bible made us to understand that. He said, he said to the children of the Israelites that there shall not be any barren woman in the land. And there, there was a place in Bible who says that, he said that children are blessing from God and they are heritage, gift from God, heritage from God, heritage from God. So saying that God does not give children, it's an understatement that God does not give children. It's like you are limiting the power of God, limiting, trying to limit the power of God. As a pastor, you don't limit what God can do. There are so many things God can do. I don't even understand that man. This is the reason why the Bible made us to understand that we should know God for ourselves. Oh. This is the reason why as a Christian you have to know God for yourself. He, because I, I saw a lot of videos, a lot of men of God attacking him, him to attack him back to the men of God. So it's like the church now, is Nigeria church now is like a politics. It's just like a politics. So you see the reason why it's very good for you to know God for yourself. So that you will not miss it because most of all these pastors, according to Sister Linda, he said that they have signed a deal with the devil to bring you to hell, to make it to, to make sure that you end up in hell. Most of these pastors, I'm not calling any particular name of the pastors because a lot of pastors are not doing the will of God. So most of them have signed a deal with the devil so that they can lead you to hell. So it's very good for you to know God for yourself. Know God for yourself. Read your Bible, study the word of God, pray, ask God for direction. So that you don't end up losing your soul on the last day. So I want you all to take your time to watch this video. To listen to what Dr. Damina, Ebe Damina said. He is a pastor, a very great pastor in Nigeria. Listen to what he said. And please do make sure to leave your comments. I want to hear from you. To know your own opinion about this message that he preached. I want to know your own opinion about this message. If God... Is the one that gives children or not? I want to know your opinion. So don't forget to leave your comment on the comment section and also like this video. Also subscribe if you have not yet subscribed to this channel. May God bless you and I will see you all again next time. Bye. It is not God that gives children. It is man and woman that decides children. That's why in science, you can block the process of productivity and God will not push it. Because man has the power to determine whether he wants to have children or not. It shows you that God is not part of all that happens. So the boy raped the girl, the girl is pregnant. Why? Because inside the girl, there is a system. And inside the man, there is a system. When two of them meet and trigger those systems, those systems have the ability within the system to produce a baby. The only human being that God produced by himself is Adam. That's why Adam does not have deformity. To show you that God is not the one responsible for pregnancy and childbirth, some children come out without eyes. Some children come out with bent legs. Some children come out with disease. Some children come out with jaundice. That cannot be God. He's perfect in all of his ways. So we're waiting for God to give us a baby. You better go and get a baby. I'm very serious. You better go. Somebody say, where do I go to? Find out where the system is working. And make the system work. You know, when I did the teaching with you that babies don't come from heaven. All religious people wanted to they wanted to fight me because they always believe that it is God that gives children no you are responsible for the children you have that's why you can determine to have two or three or ten and if you have ten don't come to us telling us there are many when you were producing them you should have known that there will be many so don't make us feel bad that you couldn't take care of your ten children because we didn't all contribute it is not a general contribution business every family ought to produce the number they can take care of somebody is busy pregnant his wife every year every year every year every year eh? 
Mama will be a Geri. She has produced five. Every, 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 every year. She almost died the fifth one. And you want to push another one. Why? You say it is the gift of God. Eh, eh. It is the foolishness of you and your wife. It is not the gift of God. You have the ability to stop it. You have the ability to control it. You even have the ability to determine to space the children. So you don't wear your wife out in a hurry. Because there's something there's something that childbirth does to a woman's body i to stop god i tried to stop it last day it has come again you didn't try it you are presumptuous you are not proactive medical science has come out with different ways to block it and to create it in fact medical science has advanced to a level they can help you produce a boy if that's what you want and they can help you produce a girl if that's what you want and if you want three medical science has come out with advanced technology they will make sure three come out if you want eight medical science has grown to that level it shows you the level to which god has given man power on the earth and the moment the child is born whether he came by medical science or he came by ivf or he came by surrogacy whatever from us the moment a child is born he begins to tick in god's plan if it's him because god's plan is not individuals god's plans are not dependent on individuals god's plan is christ so when all individuals are born to navigate into god's plan once you enter christ there's a path for you am i teaching good yes. say with me god is good yes. say satan is bad yes. say god is not responsible for evil on the earth say man is responsible and man decides to give satan access to carry out evil i didn't hear a good amen yes. now why am i getting into all of this because somebody needs to hear it